Welcome, folks. Hold on. Today, we're going to make sticky egg pudding. And normally, we would use about eight eggs, eight whole eggs. But today, we're going to try egg whites. So in preparation, we've got a pan, a large saucepan, with a trivet in there. Uh, we've got some water boiling because we're actually going to steam the sticky egg pudding. You can either get a lid with a hole in it to let the steam out, or you could just place the lid on and keep it ajar. So from here, we are going to do one-to-one -one ratio. Today it's the egg whites. We're gonna do two cups, egg whites. This container will hold four cups. So we're gonna save that for tomorrow. And this should be enough for four servings. So I'm gonna pour that into a glass bowl and I'm going to get two cups of bone broth, which is just what we prefer. You can use water, you can use vegetable broth. to pour that in here. And if I had regular eggs in here, I would use a whisk like this. And try not to make a mess. <laughs> and whisk them all together. Blend them. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. You can always add salt at the end and we're going to put it into the pot. Yes, we are. And go. Great. So we're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So it is in, it is in the pot steaming in a steam bath for 15 minutes. So in about 15 minutes, we're going to come back and hopefully this will be the consistency of pudding, egg pudding. That's what we're going Clinton, for. is that called a double boil? It is called a double boiler, you can call it that. I call it a steam bath. Um, basically, you're taking the steam from the water and you're cooking the ingredients in the glass. And so with any luck, it will thicken up and we'll have the cons consistency of pudding when we come back. Okay, we are back. So. It took about 20 minutes, a little bit longer than with the yolks. So at this moment, I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna slide uh, the pudding off of the heat. And if it's not quite done, and by not quite done, meaning it's jiggly, or if it's a little too watery, we can just leave the lid on for about five minutes. So but this looks pretty good. So you kind of want the consistency of pudding and not too watery. So again, this is our first attempt at egg whites. Let's see how we do. Okay, so we're gonna take one scoop, set it in the bowl. Second scoop. Put it in the bowl. Nothing to see here. And our third scoop is going for tomorrow's lunch. And we're just gonna set this aside. Now for our toppings. You can put anything on this you want. Uh, Candice likes cauliflower, riced cauliflower. I'm gonna have rotisserie chicken on mine. Uh, aged Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna go with some um, red pickled onions. From? From Becky and Terry and Nicole. Falcon. Falcons. 
which is, this stuff's really good. And we're also going to do avocado. And Candice loves ginger dressing, so she'll get ginger dressing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to go with coconut amino acid. You could do soy sauce just to give it a little bit of a tang. And we also like a little bit of butter. Make it creamy. Who doesn't like buttered eggs? And that's it. Yay!